Instagram just changed the three best hashtags that you need to be using right now on Instagram because if you're not using them, you could be reaching the wrong people or maybe you're using banned hashtags. In fact, they also just updated the banned hashtags list. And if you are using banned hashtags, it's the reason you're not getting the reach that you want. You might think that you're shadow banned, but no, probably not shadow banned. You're just choosing one or two banned hashtags in your posts and it's killing your reach. In fact, this creator right here was just doing that, stopped doing it and was able to gain over 100,000 followers in just 30 days. And I was able to help this creator get over 600,000 followers by making making sure that they stop making the mistakes that I see so many small accounts make with their hashtags and boom, once they did that, their growth skyrocketed. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go click on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition, I just created a free Instagram growth course. You can get it the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to post on Instagram and how the Instagram algorithm actually works so you can increase your views. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Just go to that pinned comment below. The first hashtag strategy you need to make sure that you're using is gonna be nine to 10 hashtags. Now remember, all of these hashtags need to be relevant to whatever you're posting about because if you use irrelevant hashtags, there is a chance Instagram will show your content to the wrong people and then boom, you're not going to get the engagement metrics that you actually need in your post for Instagram to be able to push out that piece of content and then your post dies in the water. And for a lot of you, this is exactly what's causing your posts to not get views or using banned hashtags and need to be using the website I'm gonna share with you right now in order to fix that. So this is the website you wanna make sure that you're using. It's metahashtags.com, and then if you come backslash band dash hashtags backslash, you're going to see the Instagram band hashtags checker. So essentially what you wanna do is you could type in a bunch of hashtags that you're gonna use. For example, affiliate marketing, affiliate, clickbank, uh, make money online, hashtag make money fast, hashtag Bitcoin, Hashtag Ty Lopez. We'll try that one out too. And essentially what we're going to do here, so we're gonna click check and clean, and this is going to show two banned hashtags. So hashtag Bitcoin and hashtag make money online, they're actually banned. So you wanna make sure that you're not using this type of stuff within your content. And I can guarantee that if you're not getting the views that you want, it's probably because you're using some banned hashtags. And then in addition to that, we could see that affiliate marketing was clean here. So what we could do is come down here, type this in here, and it is going to find us similar hashtags on Instagram. If we click this, generate hashtag, now what this is going to show us is a bunch of other different hashtags and it is going to show us the lowest number of likes, how many posts per hour are happening under there, how many posts have happened, and what the average number of likes and the average number of comments are. In addition to that, if we click into this right here, it can show us a bunch of other ones that are similar to that. What I'd recommend that you do is go through here and try to find the biggest and most relevant hashtags. On top of that, we come up here, you can go and look at somebody's account. For example, we can look at Nick Calstick here. I spelled his name totally wrong. If we click this, it's going to pull up his account and what it should show us are the majority of hashtags that he is using within his post so that we could see it really simply. And essentially, you wanna go through, you wanna be able to do this for your competitors. And what that's going to do is allow you to find the best hashtags that you should be using. Now, it looks like that this didn't actually pull up. So we're gonna come through right here, copy this to make sure that we have his right name. Oh, boom, there it goes. So what this shows, how many hashtags found, it shows his average engagement, average number of likes, average comments, and what we're gonna be able to do is now see all the different hashtags that he's using and we'll be able to take all of these and use them in our content and boom we'll be able to get more views than our competitor now obviously he's probably not your competitor but this tool is 100 free so i strongly suggest you check it out now the second hashtag strategy you need to make sure that you're using is 13 to 15 hashtags. And I do wanna caveat this with the fact you should never use more than 15 hashtags. On top of that, when it comes to trying all the different strategies I'm sharing with you, here's how you actually wanna break this out. You wanna make sure that you're uploading content with a different hashtag strategy every time that you upload for the next two to three weeks. And then at the end of those two to three weeks, I want you to take your top five to top 10 posts, see what hashtag strategies were used, and then those are the hashtag strategies that you should go with. For the majority of you, it's going to be one or two hashtag strategies that work the best. And then those are the only ones that you should be using for the next month or so. And then after that, I would run this experiment again. But remember, the best hashtag strategies might change. And the strategy I'm going to share with you in just a second is by far the best if you want to skyrocket your reach. But first, I need to make sure that you're not making five simple mistakes that I see so many creators on Instagram making right now, which is destroying their reach. The first mistake you need to make sure that you're not making is your hashtags 
need to come after your description. They should not come before your description. They should not come in the middle of your description and they definitely shouldn't be in the comment section. They should simply be in the description box below the description. In addition to that, I strongly suggest writing descriptions that are 125 to 150 words because a lot of people will literally just consume descriptions on Instagram. In fact, more than 50% of people scrolling on Instagram don't have their sound on. So what does this mean? You need text on the screen to hook them in. You need a great description to hook them in. And if you could get them to read that text on the screen or read that description, guess what ends up happening? Your post is going to end up going viral because you're going to get replays on your content. Replays are one of the most important metrics that you can actually get on Instagram right now. Because essentially what that means is somebody rewatched your piece of content, which counts as a second or third view, depending on how many times they rewatched it. And it's a really high signal to Instagram. They should push out your content to even more people because if somebody watches your video more than once, probably means that they were satisfied watching it or that they want to see it again, which is a metric that Instagram is looking for. But this is nothing compared to the next three things you need to make sure that you're doing. And the third one is making sure that you're not focused on how many likes you get or how many saves you get. This type of stuff really helped two years ago. Today though, doesn't help at all. Instead, you need to be focused on how many comments you're getting, how many shares you're getting, and how many followers you're getting every single time that you post. Those three things are going to be what actually get your content pushed on Instagram right now. In addition to that, a lot of creators right now are making the mistake of only focusing on trending sounds. You need to be focused on pairing trending sounds with trending effects because using a trending sound is great. Using a trending effect is great, but what's even better is when you tag those two together and they amplify each other. So if you use a trending sound and a trending effect, and by the way, a trending effect could just be something as stupid as using the 4K effect, guess what ends up happening? It increases the quality of your content and increases the reach that you get every single time that you post. And this brings me to the last and most important mistake that you need to make sure that you're avoiding, which is that you're not creating content that is too long. And you're probably wondering, Rob, but what is content that's too long? It's content that you made longer than it had to be. Your content on Instagram should be as short as humanly possible. Obviously, it shouldn't be one or two seconds, but you get what I'm saying. Instead of making a 30 second video, try to get the same information across in 11 seconds or in 13 seconds. And of course, this is going to be a challenge, but being able to do this is going to skyrocket your reach on Instagram, which brings me to the last hashtag strategy that you need to make sure that you're using, which is four to five hashtags. In fact, this strategy right here is responsible for the most viral posts on Instagram. And if you wanna go viral on Instagram or you just wanna get more followers, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna look at your account and tell you everything I would do differently for your specific niche. What hashtags you should use, what time you should post, even what kind of content you should create or how to change the format of your content so that you go viral. If that sounds interesting, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on Instagram and this organic reach we're currently seeing are not gonna last forever. And there are two things holding you back from seeing the growth like the creators that I share with you in this video. The first one is that you haven't implemented the tips that I just shared with you. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my Instagram mentorship program yet. That's literally going to guarantee that I help you get more followers on Instagram in the next 30 days or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 25,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than a thousand followers if they implement to every piece of advice that I share with them. Now, since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume you're probably above average. So the odds of you gaining over 25,000 followers are probably quite high. And if you want results like that, go to the link in the description below right now and sign up because there are limited spots available. I'm gonna be telling you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use. I'm gonna send you new post ideas and I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you get more growth on Instagram in the next 30 days. It doesn't matter what your niche is or what your background is, this program is gonna help you get followers more easily and quicker so that you don't have have to spend endless hours trying to figure out the things that I already know about exactly how to grow your account. In fact, they just helped this creator in the program and they gained over 100,000 followers in just 30 days. I helped this creator, they gained over 150,000 and this creator over 200,000 followers. If you want results like that and I want you to be my next success story, go to the link in the description below and sign up right now because every single day that you wait, it's only going to get harder to grow on Instagram. It is easier than ever to grow right now, but you need to take advantage of this opportunity. And what's better than an opportunity where you're literally going to grow on Instagram or get your money back because zero questions asked. Again, there are limited spots, so go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Otherwise, I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.